Welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you the simplest way I use to set my TP and my stop loss when trading in forest market. All right. Okay, let's quickly check on what stop loss and take profit mean. The stop loss simply means amount of money you are willing to lose on a single trade while the take profit simply means the amount of money you are likely to win or your potential profit that is what take profit is the stop loss and take profit are abbreviated to tp and sl why SL mean stop loss and the TP mean take profit. Okay, so now here we go. Let's say, for instance, you happen to be a buyer where you analyze a trade. So I'm gonna use this volatility 50 index one hour time frame to just analyze. Okay, and be a buyer then set my stop loss and my tp using the two easiest way i use to set my stop loss and my tp when trading the forest market the first thing you want to do is to know the level of your resistance and the level of your support so if you spot out your support at this point like this and you spot out level of your resistance at this point like this when analyzing the market okay so when you spot out your support and you spot out your resistance like this and the next thing you want to do is to check out the ratio for the market it could be 1.1 ratio it could be 1.2 ratio risk it could be 1.3 ratio risk but according to this market now this is like 1.3 ratio risk or 1.4 let me see 1.4 ratio risk for this three because you are willing to set your stop loss below this low here that is the level of your support and that is going to be your stop loss you are willing to set your stop loss below that low and uh, you are willing to set your TP above this item let me change the color of this TP to color blue alright let's see you are willing to set your TP at this level here and this is the level of your SL. All right. The first method I'm going to show you now is after analyzing, and you happen to be a buyer in this trade. Then the next thing you want to do is to set your stop loss for the trade. Then you just have to do like this: click and hold this horizontal line, and press this pencil icon. Then you have to copy this point and you copy it like this. When you click on copy, then you go back to your trade. And the next thing you have to do is just to click on this plus sign here to place a trade. Then you have this Excel box here. You have to paste the number you copy from the horizontal line, paste it in this box. You can see there is L cell there before I paste it in the box. Then click on paste and buy this market. That is the first method I would like to show you to set a cell. And when you go back to your trade, you will notice this market has been set with a cell automatically. So let's just delete this horizontal line. Let me delete this level of support. So the next thing you want to do next is to set your take profit for this trade. 
and this is the level of your take profit the next thing you have to do next is just to click on audit then tap on the pencil icon like this copy the same number like this so when you copy it you go back to your trade and go back to your position click on all this trade then you tap on this modify position when you click on modify position you paste this number the number you copy from your horizontal line paste it in your tp box and click on modify then the next thing you have to do is go back to your trade your trade has been set with the tp at the exact place you place your horizontal line that is the simple way to set stop loss and uh, tp for your trade all right the next method i'm gonna show you now let me use another commodity for that let me check on okay this is um crash 500 and let's say you want to be a buyer at this market for instance then you draw the you draw then you draw your trend line and you draw your second trend line and your potential profit for this market is to see this market it's this your trend line like this okay and um, you are willing to be a buyer for this trade if you are willing to be a buyer for this trade and you would like to set your stop loss here and your potential profit is above this high okay okay the reason why i use this method is because um, sometimes the synthetic forex index can be very fast sometimes and uh, can quickly changes in direction sometimes and uh, let's say you've analyzed this market for a very long time or you analyzed this market two hours earlier before this time and you're looking for your entry point and you don't want to miss that entry point this is just a uh, and you know if you are trying to just copy this LCL or you are trying to copy this TP you are likely to lose your entry point especially when you are trading on the lower time frame like the 5 minutes time frame or the 15 minutes time frame and more then the next thing you would like to do is just to place this trade straight up if you are willing to pay by okay just have to place it straight up and once you are done placing the trade okay so you just have to come back to your chart copy this your horizontal line copy your the point number there to back to your trade then click on this position okay once you click on this position paste the number in your excel box like this and modify it okay once you are done modifying that the next thing you want to do is to copy your, your tp as well you copy your tp like this copy the part of the trade the part of your position and uh, click on modify position like this then paste it in your tp box okay whether you are buying or you are selling the TP and the SL pros doesn't change so you paste it there to modify this is the easiest way I use most when trading the volatility index the boomer crash the whole synthetic index this is the method I use most and the reason why I use this method most is because I don't analyze the market um, the time I want to 
figure out my entry point okay because if i should analyze the market at the same time i want to figure out my entry point i'm likely to take a false signal so i analyze like four hours ahead okay three hours ahead before my time of spotting my entry point so when i come and figure out my entry point it's copying on the five minutes time frame or the 15 minutes time frame then the next time just to do is just to click on the spot sign and place my buying entry straight up okay um the reason why i need to show you guys is because one of my challenges back then i have when i started trading forex market is i find it difficult to place sl and tp okay so if you find any of my content useful for you please do make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, please give this video a thumbs up thank you so now the next step i'm going to be showing you is how to set the stop loss and uh, tp for the selling entry if you analyze the market and you have multiple seller in the market i'm going to show you that same one. so let me check on another commodity for that let me check on bomb all right this is bomb let me use the 30 minutes time frame all right the first thing you have to do you know, is put out your resistance and uh, you need your trend line for this for this trade so you need a trend line like this in the trend line um, this trend line has been broken at this point here let me just use this this trend line has been broken at this point here okay and um, the market has come back to test this trend line okay and you are willing to be a seller from this point okay this is just an example of the trade and uh, the next thing you want to do is to paste the level yourself to check your risk ratio maybe your risk ratio is gonna be 2.1 3.1 risk ratio and let's say you are this is like 1.2 ratio for this street and this is your potential tp and the next thing you want to do is to copy this lcm and click on this or um pencil icon copy this thing this number here when you copy it go back to your trade and click on this plus sign to open your trade and paste your lcm at this point here all right then click on sell so when you click on sell to go back to your trade to check if your sl has been placed for this trade and automatically your sl has been placed for this trade just where your horizontal line is and the next thing you want to do is just to set cp for this trade you just have to do it like this copy this number on the horizontal line like this copy it as well go back to your trade and then click and hold your position like this click on modify paste it in your excel pause and modify it like this and go back to your trade what did you see the tp has been automatically placed on your tp just where your horizontal line is Right, so you can now delete your horizontal line delete this okay so what i'm talking about this candle is just about to test this trend line so when there's this trend line you can also be a seller at this point here but this is just like a false entry all right i'm just using this as an example this is not a live trade okay guys so the next thing you want to do now is using the second method which is the one i have recommended for you guys to use and the one i use personally when trading all right 
the second method let's check on another commodity okay guys this is flat with the five for last time frame and let's say you have analyzed this market two hours earlier and uh, you spot this level of your resistance that is top here and you spot this level and you also spot this level of your support below this two here we have our support here we have our support here and you have this major support we have our support here okay and um, let's see um, to this analysis now you are willing to take a selling entry and let's say your selling entry is at this point here and you don't want to lose your selling opportunity especially when you're trading on the lower time frame like the five minutes or the 15 minutes time frame because the volatility 75 market can move faster and the first thing you want to do is just to force out for place a selling position or let me say you are in a signal program where the offer signal service it will be a free signals or a paid signals you are and um, immediately signal is dropped the first thing you want to do is that you don't want to lose your entry point it could be your buying entry or your selling entry you don't want to lose that point and the first thing you want to do is just to take that trade as soon as possible ASAP you don't want to waste time this is for you because if you make um, a late entry you are likely to be in loss for that trade or if the trade eventually hits the SL okay or uh, you're likely to lose big money this is just for you just have to come into your trade if the trade sells buy or sell let's say for instance if trade sell sell volatility 75 and TP social number SL social number you just have to come here sell the trade first so you click on sell right then you go back to your trade then that is when you can start looking for your let's say they say this is your L sell your SL should be at this point you just need to copy this your SL like this copy this point okay then you paste it in your trade go back to your SL boss paste it there like this and it told you your TP point is here this is more or less like 1.3 ratio or 1.4 ratio for this trade then you just have to copy like this copy this point go back to your position and uh, place it in your TP box like this and go back to check your trade your TP and your SL are in place there okay and um, again if you are looking to be a sniper entry especially when you are trading on the one minute time frame this is for you you know uh, there is a way you can trade on your one minute time frame that you still set your stop loss and the TP for your trade okay just have to come here and you want to be a sniper entry let's say uh, the market is currently at this point okay and you are willing to be a buyer at this point and you want to be make want to make your trade to be at this point let's say the market is currently at this point okay and they told you to set your stop loss somewhere here or let's say you want to be a sniper entry and okay and you don't want to lose your entry and you know if you start setting your um L sell and a TP, you are likely to lose this entry point. And you want to be a sniper, you just have to come here, place your selling entry, then go back to your trade and start setting your SL and your TP. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. If this is your first time of watching any of my video, please do make sure you assist me by clicking the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more and more videos in this case you don't need to disturb yourself or bother yourself start cramming the numbers here 
you don't need that or how do you intend copying these numbers how would you do that okay or if you are in any signal program where they offer a signal service uh, let's see for instance you happen to be in this school whereby a signal is dropped like this they say oh, the SL is 7437.169 and the next thing you want to do is to buy crash set the SL TP1 and TP2 and you go back to your tree then you have to click on buying and you have to click on buying position like this then you go back into your SL box go back to your tree and start cramming these numbers the number 7437.169 Type in the number 7437169. It is not done that way, guys. Forex trading is fucking easier, even more than you can ever imagine. Only if you seek, found, and have the knowledge and know how to use the knowledge. You know, you may seek and have the knowledge and found the knowledge and still don't know how to use the knowledge okay guys all right i think in my next video i think i'm gonna show you how to place a trade using tp1 tp2 and tp3 in case if you are in any signal service program where the offers signal service you will be able to figure out yourself or if you come across any of my signal that has tp1 and uh, tp2 to be able to figure out yourself and i'll show you how to swing in a trade okay using the lcl and tp to swing with a trade that is just about it so until next time i wish you all good luck and uh, good trading